back to the Philippines. Well, my first question is, um, Francine, pakishare na lang yung pinakaunang moment na nakita mo si Ibok sa Korea. Kinilig ka ba? <laughs> um, actually, um, noong unang meet ko, noong unang kita ko kay Opay Ibok talaga, sinabi ko rin sa kanya, sabi ko, I felt intimidated kasi syempre, he's a Korean superstar and as someone na well, hindi naman po sa nag, parang nagpapaka-anghel, no? Pero, um, ako po talaga kasi as someone na hindi naman masyadong kilala um, worldwide. Kasi, of course, he's of a sign group naman. Lahat yan kilala siya. But for me, um, usually my supporters are from the Philippines talaga. And mas kilala din naman po ako sa Philippines. So, um, hindi ko lang din in-expect na he will choose me. But yun, kaya rin ako na-intimidate kasi parang, oh, what do I have ba? Um, pero it felt nice kasi um, natin ako sa Korea, ay, um, nakita ko siya, and he was really nice. And hindi naman niya pinaramdam sa akin, yung, wala namang hierarchy, yung, walang namang nangyari ganun. It's just really me because I was really nervous. But yun, tinulungan niya ako and he was guiding me every step. Uh, my, thank you, Francine. My follow-up question is for um, Ingo. Um, we we know we know K, K drama fans know that you're you're a singer also um, and a recording star. I wonder why is it important for you to collaborate with other artists um, outside um, Korea or other Asian artists, and how do you choose artists to collaborate with? Philippines에 처음 와서 팬미팅을 했었을 때 굉장히 팬들에게 큰 사랑을 받고 가는 것 같았었는데 그게 너무 기뻤어서 어 어떤 방향으로 필리핀 팬분들에게 보답을 해줄 수 있을까를 선물을 해줄 수 있을까를 고민하던 차에 이제 존링이라는 걸 알게 되고 그 다음에 프랑시네도 알게 돼서 어이 프로젝트를 만들면서 아 정말 필리핀 팬분들이 너무 너무 좋아했다 내가 받았던 그런 사랑에 대한 어 보답을 했다라고 해서 어, 작업을 하게 됐습니다. So, um, before this project came to be, he was thinking he, he of course, he received so much love from his fans. He loves he received so much affection from his fans here in the Philippines, and he was thinking of how to reciprocate that, how to um, give back naman po sa fans niya in the Philippines. And in that process, he got to know Sir John Lee, he got to meet Francine, and that's why he chose na to work with them and to be able to give back naman po to his Filipino fans uh, the love and support that they gave and showed to him po. Thank you so much, Miss Natalie. Now, before we go to the next one, I want to say you're so humble. Isn't she fantastic? I think she downplays her talent a lot. Girl, you got a lot going for you. You are sunshine. And of course, thank you for thinking of collaborating with Francine. Now we can move on to the next one. Uh, Miss Shella Fernando from Metro Style. There you go, looking fantastic. Thank you. So uh, congrats to the both of you. Um, and happy birthday, Francine. So uh, my question is first to um, so in good. So um, Francine mentioned that um, when, when uh, he, she learned about the collaboration, uh, she felt like uh, excited and there's fear. So I want to know how he feels when he learned about uh, the collaboration. Uh, as he was also killing, uh, he 
got the opportunity to work with Francine and he could feel put one while they were working together na parang really lovely talaga ang energy and vibes na ginigive off ni Francine so he, they were able to work very pleasantly together um, so the song is about like confession, uh, about the love. So, um, how do you or can you relate personally, God? Like that's uh, the question is for the whole thing. Oh, 저는 가사 쓸때 저의 어떤 경험담이나 이런 내용보다는. 그냥 노래 분위기에 맞는 단어와 그거에 대한 스토리텔링을 좀 적는 편이에요. So, uh, personally, uh, he writes songs no more. He does not relate it to his stories or yung nararamdaman niya at this time. He just um, thinks of a concept and yung mga lyrics that fits that concept. Hindi niya po benefit into personal um, thoughts or processes at the, as of the moment. Um, ako naman po, how do I relate to the song? Um, kasi it's about confession. <laughs> um, how do I relate? Um, siguro relate in a way na, syempre pag nagko-confess ka, parang gusto mo sana ma-reciprocate yung, yung, yung feeling na yun. Doon siguro sa part na yun. Yun lang. <laughs> That. Um, so last question now is, um, should we expect like another collaboration in uh, in the future? Oh, uh, 저는 또 my love with you, and to together with Frank Shimba, to to um, he wants, um, he's very willing, like after my love with Francine, he wants to work again with Francine on new fun, exciting projects in the future. Love it. All right, thank you. Alright, next up, my dear, Mr. Jude Lalin from Avante Entertainment. It's your turn. It's your time to shine. Yeah, uh, good afternoon. Uh, good evening. Annyeong uh, yeah, okay. Um, actually, uh, I have a confession, no? Com confession naman to. I'm not really into uh, Koreans, no? Pero, uh, while talking to John Ling, John Ling is a um, very dear friend. Sa America pala magkakilaan na kami at tagal na. And, um, um, puro good words lang ang sinasabi niya about, uh, uh, sorry, in walk, no? Um, uh, Sobrang puri niya, hindi niya akalain na kahit um, Korean superstar siya, sikat na sikat, napaka-down to earth. And yun nga, bilang siya pa yung magiging representative manager dito sa Pilipinas siya. Um, what can you say? Um, uh, in book, uh, that uh, a lot of people are really saying, you're very, very nice. Uh, again, I'm not into Koreans because some Koreans who come here, uh, um, they're really so strict. Ang daming mga bodyguards na hindi mo malapitan, uh, hindi mo masyadong matanong. Pero it, uh, siya, parang ang sweet ng dating niya. Uh, 
Since uh, this song is about compassion, um, if ever, uh, uh, Francine, uh, 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 um, what can you uh, confess kay, kung you give a chance to, talk, uh, to him and to confess? What can you do? What can you do? Oh my God, like confession! Alam na alam naman po niya kasi earlier sinabi ko rin na I'm thankful kasi he chose me. That's my confession. I am grateful. Yeah. And, yeah. So ano sa sabi niya na uh, she a uh, person so grateful. Oh, 일단 마이러브를 함께 해준 것만으로도 저한테는 너무나도 감사하고 그리고 어 이런 자리에서 프랑신과 함께 또 노래를 이렇게 보여줄 수 있는 것 자체가 저한테는 정말 꿈 같은 기분 좋은 일인데 이 모든 거를 이제 존님과 프랑신에게 감사하다는 말을 전하고 싶습니다. Um, the coordinator that made this happen, he felt like it was a, he felt this um, opportunity that he got to share their song, kahit yung teaser lang with Francine with all of you. It felt like a dream. So and he also again would like to thank both Francine and Sir John for working with him on this on this project. Alright. Okay. Uh, for John, John, you're going to represent um, Ingo to South Philippines. So, uh, uh, may mga plano ka na? Uh -huh. um, pang sa kola ng ilan ni Francine? Well, right now, I'm talking to someone. Maybe two or three, maybe two endorsements right now. But yeah. I can't see. Diba, may pa-teaser ka pala bilang may mga tumawag ng, sa agency na interesado sila to get its services. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So, mga tatlo na, tatlo din kaya ka usap. Two or three, yes, yes. Huh? Talaga? So, um, gano'n siya ka magiging uh, kadalas din sa Philippines niya? Oh, well, maybe three times or four times, so it depends. Is here for my Maybe, yeah, maybe this is the first, maybe three times. Maybe, yeah. Uh, So, yeah. So, pwedeng maging madalas kung maraming projects, no? Wala, wala siyang limitations sa madal. Binigay sa'yo. Pero, yeah. Thank you, ha. Pero, uh, bago ako matapos, Francine, uh, we're so grateful na uh, uh, sinelebrate mo yung birthday mo. Kasama kami, di ba? Uh, ako laging sinasabi din sa akin ni, ni John, no? Pag lagi kami mag-chat, eh, laging, ano mo si John, hindi nakakalimot mag-thank you. Pag may susulat ka, may nilalabas sa'yo, Ganun siya ka-sweets, uh, lalo na doon sa mga kakilala niya sa press. So, kami, parang ako, hindi kita masyado madalas mga interview, but uh, pag na-interview kita, makikita ko naman sweet ka. Pero, lagi ko na kwento ni, ni John na, sobrang bait mo. So, happy, happy birthday. Salamat po. Thank you. Thank you.